Okay, welcome back. I want to show you how you can set up your group assignments using Google Docs and Google Classroom. So what you will do first is you will go to Google Drive. And when you find Google Drive here, uh, Classroom, Google Classroom sets up its own folder inside of your Google Drive here. And, um, and I've got my class here. This is one of my classes from Academic English. And uh, what I've done is I've set up a Google Doc and I've made copies for each group. So I, I set up and I'll show you one because I'm not using group eight. I've only had seven groups. Um, so this is the original one here. I've given my students eight sentences uh, and each one of the sentences has a, each sentence has a, um, a mistake in it. And the students have to work together in order to find the mistake and then change the sentence and make it correct. So um, I've taken this one here and you'll see uh, I've made a copy for each one inside of Google Drive. And I've you prepare these before you assign these inside of Google Classroom. So if you come back to Classroom, this is my week three. Uh, we're talking about primary research and I wanted my students to get together into, I ended up with seven groups. I didn't have to make the eighth group because I wanted to show you on here on this video how you can do that. So you'll go to create and you'll create an assignment. Uh, and I'll just call this one here, group eight. And I've got my instructions that are all set. So if I open this one up, I can see the instructions here. And I'll copy these instructions. And paste them in here. And then you want to add from Google Drive. We've already created these, these docs, our Google Docs here. And we should find group eight, week three, group eight. There it is. You'll click on that and you'll click on insert. Make sure this corresponds group eight with week three, group eight. And what you'll do here is you want students to be able to edit this file. So once they can edit this, You'll see that's that's the correct class. By default, it sends it out to all of your students. So I'll uncheck that. And for each group, this is where you'll have to select the students who will receive this particular Google Doc. So if you're down here in group eight and you've gone through your whole class, um, let's say you want three students to be able to edit this document. These three students will now be able to edit this one document right here. Okay, uh, you can see it says three students. Um, this is an ungraded, I just want the students to work together in groups. Um, you can actually make this a graded assignment if you want to. Uh, for this one here, I'm gonna say it's ungraded. This is an in-class assignment. Um, and uh, I won't put a due date. And for the topic, I'll set it to week three. Okay, so um, if you assign this, then those three students will receive a, uh, they, they will receive an email that says that you've got this assignment ready. So I wanna actually, I'm going to personally dis discard this because my students, those three students have already created that one. Um, they've already worked on this. So um, that's how you will create your, um, your group assignments that you can have your students work together in groups uh, on a Google Doc right there. And then I would like to show you how I've got, uh, let's say for example, um, group seven here. So if I were to open this up and I'll move that out of the way. So I've got my week three group seven. Uh, I think this only had two students in the group working on it, but they've got the incorrect sentence and then the students had to work together and they had to uh, correct the sentence here. They had to write it correctly. Okay, so, um, and then once you're all finished with that, uh, once the students are all finished, they will come back to the main room, to the main um, Zoom classroom or whatever video conferencing platform you're using. And once they come back to the main room, then uh, you guys can review the answers and you can call on different students to uh, to answer and turn their microphone on. And so anyways, this is a good way to get your students to work in groups, uh, in class, in a video conferencing platform and have them engaged and be able to communicate with their groups here. So I hope this was very helpful 
And uh, please do ask me in the comments down below if you have any questions about this, and I would be happy to try and help you guys out, okay? Okay, perfect. So um, let's see. So let's get a uh, the first person. How about uh, Kato? Would you please read uh, number one? Uh, the rules of plural form is complicated. Okay, so um, now together what you guys have to do is you have to correct this sentence. The rules of plural forms is complicated. So how would you correct that sentence right there? There you go. Okay, good. So um, Kato, can you go ahead and take that one? Uh, correct that sentence, please. Okay, should I write it on the form? Uh, you can, yeah, you can write it right here on the document. That's fine. Okay. So I should change this to R. There you go. Good, good, okay. good. Okay, perfect. Okay, now um, we'll take, um, how about Tomotaka? Can you take number two, please? There are various college type school discipline type. And we've got to correct this sentence here. Okay, good. So, um, so do you guys understand uh, how to complete this assignment? Yes, totally. Okay, great. Good luck, you guys. I'm going to jump into the next room now, okay? Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so I have um, uh, just jumped into the, um, the first group right there. Um, they're working together on this document at the same time. And... Uh, as we can see here, if I come back to our classwork, uh, that was looking into group one right there. So you can jump through each of these groups and um, and you can help them out. So there's only three people assigned to each of these. I think group seven only has two people assigned. So, um, so you can go through each group and then once they're done, this can be a uh, an assignment that is um, an in-class assignment that you can do on Zoom to help out your students here. So I hope that this was very helpful um, and it takes a little bit of time to set up, but once you get your students uh, acquainted with this style, uh, you can start to do in-class assignments, uh, in groups, um, in uh, using Zoom or any kind of video conference combined with, um, any kind of video conferencing platform combined with uh, Google Classroom.